On your mark, get set, go. As Fashion Week kicked off in Pakistan's cultural capital of Lahore, designers wanted the world to know just one thing, we have arrived. You know, we're really good with design and we've got a lot of talent, but it's time to streamline and professionalize and, you know, maybe take Pakistani fashion global. Going global meant bringing big business to the catwalk. Buyers from the UK and US were among the guests who watched as styles both functional and funky flirted with fans. But perhaps most striking is the stark contrast these models and designers pose to the stereotypes about Pakistan. So we have to tell the rest of the world that there is a Pakistan which is liberal also. We're not fundamentalists. We may be uh, Muslims, but Muslim does not translate to fundamentalism. At 37, Vaniza Ahmed isn't just one of Pakistan's top models, but a pioneer in an industry that's grown up with her. Before, they were just bored housewives who had nothing else to do. So, and now a lot more magazines, a lot more TV channels. So we're growing. We're a very, very young industry. Young, but old enough to know this image isn't how the world sees Pakistan. Every time I'd see something on television, it's, it's only the slums or they talk about terrorism. And living here, you realize that we are the, one of the most liberal societies, I feel, in the world. That might be debatable. What's not is this. As far as Pakistani fashion is concerned, freedom of expression is the new black. Reza Sayyid, CNN, Islamabad.